Peter Brown coming at you. Um, I haven't done a video in a while. Uh, I was in the process of moving from Asheville back to Pennsylvania. Um, so we're back here in the old grow room, getting it all cleaned up, setting up racks so we can start growing cordyceps again. So um, I've been producing a lot of these jars every day while I'm here. Um, had a little bit of issues with the car. The car broke down, so I've kind of been just staying at the lab and just putting in work all day uh, whenever I have free days. So. Um, yeah, as you can see, everything's looking good as far as the cordyceps go. They're uh, colonizing very well. And uh, yeah, we're going to be running big batches over here. And um, so what we're going to do in here is uh, get rid of this wood that's in here. And we're just going to put racks through this whole room. Um, we have this space back here for incubation. You can't really see it that well. Also got a nice uh, two by four flow hood over there that we get set up in the next couple weeks. But yeah, we're gonna use that back room there as a dark incubation room. And then this whole room is gonna be the fruiting room. We got the lights over there. We're gonna get everything all set up here. Um, so I just thought I'd show you the process before um, we get into everything. And um, I'll go ahead and make another clip downstairs at the lab. Um, so yeah, we're, do we're using uh, similar rice substrate, uh, just rice, tapioca starch, um, nutritional yeast and uh, minerals and vegan meal replacement. So um, if you want more information on cordyceps cultivation, as always, you can check out the website, microshop.net, link in the, in the description, and uh, you can go ahead and get yourself the ebook. I promise you guys I'm working on the next ebook. I really, really just wanna get some funding behind that because there's a lot of research that I would like to do and make available through that book. Um, I don't want it just to be a cultivation guide. I want it to have more in-depth information on cordyceps. Um, so again, this is the new fruiting room um, in the process. So that we're gonna do a little before and after. This is what it looks like now. And then hopefully by the next video, this room will be starting to get filled out with all these jars filled with cordyceps. Um, all right, guys, well, I'll check back in with you downstairs. Right, guys. So we're down here in the lab slash prep area. Um, I'm gonna be putting a plastic wall here to separate the lab space from the prep space. Um, I'm gonna be getting rid of all this junk here, which really needs to go because I was used for growing plants and I don't want that anywhere near the lab space, but so far so good. Um, but we're gonna get this out of the way and we're gonna put a uh, stainless steel food grade table here for harvesting, uh, maybe two. Um, we'll see how it works out. But um, again, just like I said, I'm gonna get ready to put a plastic wall right here, separate the lab from the preparation area. And um, yeah, here's where we prep. We got the liquid broth for today. Um, we're probably going to uh, need to make another batch. Got some rice, probably gonna get, need to get more of that today. Uh, using organic non-GMO rice and um, yes yeah, so we prep all the jars here um, and then we run them in four different sterilizer units that are set up around the space. Um, I would love to have them all in the same area but uh, we'd have to rework the electricity for that because they do use a fair amount of electricity while heating up. Um, so yeah with this whole setup I can run uh, 300 plus jars a day which is great. Um, if I can get some more interns in here which I have a friend come in to help work today, hopefully that'll work out, then I can keep this production up uh, more regularly. Hopefully we can get up uh, maybe a minimum of 7,000 jars a month, maximum probably 10,000 or so. Um, so yeah, again, William Video Brown coming back to you from the setup. Uh, one more thing I'd like to note is that I'm gonna be putting that four, uh, two by four flow hood right here. Uh, just give myself some more space to work, maybe get a bigger table. Um, and yeah, we got cultures running. We got some uh, the Western North Carolina strain I'm really happy with. We're gonna be uh, distributing that as well. And then we got some spore cultures that I just started that I'm gonna be playing around with here shortly. So um, again, William Video Brown coming at you uh, just in a quick little update. And um, hope you all are doing well. Settling into the new year proper, propagate and myceliate.